Welcome to Cop or Not, the series where we review the newest VR games and tell you our honest opinions on them. In this episode, we're looking at Hitman 3 VR Reloaded. The release of Hitman 3 VR Reloaded on the MetaQuest 3 brings the classic stealth and strategy gameplay of the Hitman series into VR, aiming for an immersive experience with all the base game's missions available. This includes the iconic maps fans know and love, along with challenges, unlockable items, and story paths to add replayability. However, while the concept is strong, review highlight a mix of pros and cons, particularly around the game's technical performance. Players immerse themselves in a first-person perspective of the deadly assassin, Agent 47, whilst partaking in his thrilling missions. The game's UI is set to have been completely overhauled to ensure intuitive control of the agent as the player traverses through the complex environment. The game retains its core gameplay elements with focus on stealth and strategy leading the path for creative assassinations, with a multitude of differing weapons and items being available for the player. To conjure up assassination on the target. The missions do offer satisfying stealth mechanics in VR. Picking up items and setting traps feel intuitive, and the dual wielding feature is a nice addition that enhances the action. However, the core VR mechanics like aiming and weapon handling are marred by awkward controls, which interrupts immersion. What is that? There's no blood mark. The game also relies on automatic gun reloads, which feels jarring in a VR setting, where manual interaction is typically preferred for immersion. Similarly, climbing and other physical actions are triggered by button presses rather than physical gestures, which further distances the player from a truly interactive experience. If you're enjoying this review and want us to make more of this series, click that like and subscribe button and comment what game you want us to review next. Visually, Hitman 3 VR Reloaded struggles on the Quest 3, with graphics that are surprisingly low resolution, muted in colour and rife with technical hiccups like object pop-ins and stuttering. Some areas look comparable to early console games with simplistic textures and a lack of depth. Wait, that fails to meet the Quest 3's graphical potential. Even basic elements like the menu haven't been redesigned for VR, which makes navigation feel clunky and out of place. On a positive note, the game's comfort settings offer a good range of options, including smooth and snap turning, seated and standing modes, and head-based movement. This makes it adaptable for players with different VR comfort levels. For Hitman fans, the core stealth tactics remain engaging. However, unless the game sees updates to fix its graphical and performance shortcomings, Hitman 3 VR Reloaded feels less like a fully realised VR experience and more like a rough adaptation that's yet to reach its potential. With patches, it could improve significantly, but as it stands, the experience feels like an ambitious attempt that needs further optimization, and that's why it's a Dyad certified not. Thanks for watching.